What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today I have for you a review of the On The Run Street Polisher. As you can see, this is the mini edition. It's 30 milliliters. Uh, I picked this up at bombingscience.com for about 7 bucks. Um, the bigger one you can pick up at bombingscience.com as well for about 10 bucks. So, um, the bigger one I think holds about 100 milliliters, and again, this is 30. So I'll tell you a little bit about the product first, and then uh, we can uh, do a nice surface test with it and tag test and that kind of thing. Well, first off, um, they only sell it in black with black ink at the moment, but it is refillable. So after you're done using it with black, you can put whatever color in it. There's no mixing ball, as you see. There's uh, really no need with anything this this small. Small, compact, comes filled with an alcohol-based uh, ink comes with the on the run flow pen ink if you haven't seen that this is a bottle of that so that's what it comes filled with it's super permanent I already tried uh, popping the nib off to see if I need to remove any part of it to have uh, to have it flow and I spilt a bit like on my dresser actually and it I can't get it off at all so yeah it's super permanent like they say the product link to this will be in the description of the video so go check it out there I'll pop this cap off. It's got a nice and tight lid, which is good because uh, it not only keeps it from falling off and getting ink in your pocket or wherever you're keeping the marker, but it also makes sure the ink on the nib doesn't dry out and ruin the nib. So that's nice as well. So as you can see, the nib here, it's two centimeters or 20 millimeters, so it's a fairly big nib. If you want to know a bit about how it works, you can see right here, the nib splits in four in the middle and there's that red thing. Now that red thing's basically just a little part that sticks up and if you push it down that's when ink starts to uh, flow. So uh, yeah, you have to push it down to flow. It's not really a squeeze mop. It's It's got a pretty hard body. So yeah, I guess we can take it outside, see how it performs and uh, I'll tell you my final thoughts after using it. All right, so that was uh, that was the test you guys saw. Uh, I tried it on cardboard. Seemed to like cardboard just fine. Painted cardboard, same thing. Any kind of rough surface, though, it seems to not like, which is understandable being uh, like a shoe polish type mop. I, like I tried it on wood. I didn't even put that in the video just because it was like it, it didn't want to do it. 
it obviously worked fine on metal. It, it really likes smooth surfaces. It feels amazing to write with when you're uh, writing on something smooth or glossy, anything like that. You do have to remember though it is an ink and not a paint, so it's a little bit transparent when writing over, writing over like other colors which you saw on uh, some of the painted cardboard I tested. You can get some drips with it if you really try hard. You can also get some solid tags without any drips, so overall I'd have to say like 7.5 out of 10 for this. It's a really nice small compact product. Part of the reason I also may have not been getting drips was because uh, outside right now it's negative 2 Celsius, so um, it's like below freezing. Yeah, great product overall. You can pick one up at bombingscience.com, like I said. Tell me what you guys think of the product in the comments. Tell me if you guys have one or are interested in getting one. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the review. Until next time, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.